My name is Alison Moore. I'm the managing director of Dear Harris and Co Pharmacy. We've been in St James's Street for over 220 years. Um, we have a warrant. Well, we've had a warrant to the Queen Mother from 1938, and that continued until her, her death. And in 2002, we were appointed as a warrant holder as chemists to His Royal Highness the Prince of Wales, and that continues. I think um, having a warrant actually says quite a lot about the business. Some people just like the fact we've got a warrant, but we are discreet. We treat all our customers in exactly the same way. And many of these customers include actors, actresses and MPs local to the area who regularly shop at DR Harris for soaps, colognes and aftershaves. Shaving brushes, wooden bowls, here we are, I'll show you. There we go. So, soap in a wooden bowl, which you then take a shaving brush and lather it up. And lots of gentlemen are going, so they'd lather that up and then brush it on the skin. And lots of gentlemen are going back to shaving in the old traditional way. And these, these, this is the, something that would last them for life. Also, the brush helps you exfoliate your skin gives you a nice smooth shave so useful practical and uh, traditional products we're lucky as well in that we've been on British Airways first class in the accessories bag a couple of times and that way we've been introduced to a la larger population around the world and, and it's amazing how that brings customers to us from all over the place we have to be friendly polite and accessible that's that's I I find for me that's that's the way that that we work this business and I've always worked in business and, and to have a love of what we do you have to love what you're doing otherwise you can't promote it and other people don't pick up on that my next appointment of the day at Edward the seventh own barbers like roughly The Edwardian gentleman would certainly never have dreamt of shaving himself. His valet attended him in the comfort of his own bedroom. I'm going for the next best thing, the services of professional barber Camille Ozturk. So here's your hot towel. The hot towel. Is that something I could sort out for myself at home? Very easily, actually. You wet a towel, wring it, scent it with a nice flavour. Put it in the microwave in two minutes on very high. <laughs> in the microwave? microwave. Two really? minutes, very high, and it'll come out beautiful. And what's this going to do for my skin and my bristles? This is actually going to soften your bristles and make my job a hell of a lot easier. While the hot towel works its stubble softening magic, Camille prepares some shaving lather with a traditional badger hair brush. The brush lifts and exposes the bristles and exfoliates the skin. A natural soap continues to soften the bristles and is less harsh than synthetic shaving foams. It takes a little bit longer, I guess, than just squeezing it out of the aerosol, but do you think it's time well spent? I shave every morning this way. It doesn't take me very long at all. Seven minutes. Before the disposable razor was invented, shaving meant using a cutthroat blade. No surprise then that any man who couldn't afford a barber usually opted to remain bearded. I'm not sure I really dare take a six-inch cutthroat to my face when I'm sleepy in the morning. But what are the best alternatives for me at home? Well, it's all in the preparation. Hot towels, softening, lathering. Doesn't matter what razor blade you use, you can get an amazing shave. Which is the cold towel. Yeah, it's just yeah. going to close all your pores. Is that coming out of the fridge? It has a lid. A final bit of pampering completes the experience, which has convinced me to trade in my aerosol for a bit of badger. That feels very good indeed. How does it look? Very close. Thank you, Camille. Thank you. I reckon I've scrubbed up pretty well. And since I now have the face of an Edwardian gentleman, perhaps I should consider smelling like one. There are a lot of fragrances that we use in Edwardian times. So something quite typical might be limes cologne. Oh, I like citrusy flavours. Just rub that, rub your palms together and have a little... 
And sandalwood, mm. it's incredibly fresh. We put that on the hot towels when you're having your shave. Mm. It just really wakes you up in the morning. One of the other fragrances that was very popular was sandalwood. Plenty mm. of bass notes in yeah, that. That's lovely, actually. Yeah. Very nice. What else have we got? These are quite beautiful. This Aster, quite a strong fragrance because in that time we tended to commission the fragrances just for them. But this was actually commissioned for Lord Astor. Yeah, this was Lord Astor's. Whew, he liked the strong stuff, he did Lord like Astor, didn't he? I think I prefer the sandalwood, actually. I, I think for you, certainly the sandalwood, it's lighter and it's fresher. It's got far more modern scent. And limes. Limes is great in the morning. Sandalwood, perhaps, in the evening. Let's take these. Since 1854, Taylor of Old Bond Street has manufactured and sold the finest in luxury male grooming products and accessories, creating a brand that has become synonymous with British style and quality. The Taylor tradition was founded on the 1st of September 1854 by Jeremiah Taylor, the great-grandfather of today's chairman. He opened his hairdressing and hair treatment salon in Bond Street and gained a reputation in British society for the botanical extract he used in his hair and scalp treatments. The business has continued to be run by the Taylor family, maintaining the same high standards of service and product quality. In 1958, the male grooming company was expanded to its current location on the elegant German street, which is almost exclusively aimed at the discerning gentleman's market. Most recently, managing director Barry Klein joined the family business, eager to continue the Taylor heritage and take the brand and its unique products to exciting new heights. Taylor Vault Bond Street was founded in 1854. It's always been a family business and we want it to remain so. The products have evolved over the years through our long-standing hairdressing and um, we're currently introducing new products but at the same time keeping the existing range. The Taylor of Old Bond Street product range, which has been developed and refined over its 150 years of trading, provides the luxurious and the unusual, including hand-finished bone handle toothbrushes, shaving sets, shoe horns, hair care, mirrors, manicure sets and colognes. Taylor of Old Bond Street is now inviting established individuals and organisations to assist with the global expansion of its exclusive franchise opportunity by replicating its highly successful business model. This luxury brand seeks to establish its retail outlets in the most sophisticated and luxurious cities in the world, ensuring that the hugely popular state-of-the-art grooming products are accessible to the more discerning customer who appreciates the finer things in life. Acquiring a tailor of Old Bond Street franchise is an opportunity to supply a unique product range and heritage whilst enjoying modern production and marketing methods. These fine products carry that Taylor is famous for. Franchise owners and their staff will receive full training both in London and in their own shop, learning the unique selling points of each of the products and developing the same professional approach that has made Taylor such a success. They will also benefit from the ongoing research and development which refines and refreshes the stock offering, keeping customer interest high on each visit and encouraging regular return visits. One thing we found over the years is that customers appreciate the quality of the product so they will continually come back and buy the same products again. Um, they also, as we introduce new products, to that range or even new ranges, they will also look at these other products and again purchase those. Over the years we've had many politicians, ex-presidents, uh, Bill Clinton for example, we've also had people from royalty, movie stars, uh, Bruce Willis, Johnny Depp for example, have all walked through these doors. Taylor requires every franchise owner to commit to opening at least one main shop in a key geographic location and possibly developing strategic satellite concessions. 
You will also be responsible for managing and promoting your mail order sales via the tailor of Old Bond Street website and catalogue service. Your role as a franchise owner will be to develop your shop to optimum levels, maintain the high professional standards that have been set and to maximise the tailor of Old Bond Street opportunity in your prime location. We, we have a concession in Selfridge Years in Oxford Street in London, also we sell to Fortnum Mason in London, we sell to John Lewis department stores and around the world we sell to many gift shops, barber shops, department stores and also in America we sell to Bloomingdale's. With an already thriving and established customer base, franchise owners can join Taylor of Old Bond Street safe in the knowledge that they are investing in a bold and lucrative business model with proven longevity. To open and stock a Taylor of Old Bond Street outlet, you will require a total investment of around £180,000, which will vary depending on shop size.